Hello everyone, so what you're currently seeing here running on the Galaxy S4 Mini is a pure stock Android build. This is based off Android 4.4.4. This is a pure stock Android with no additional customization features which you may have seen on Sun Gmod, LKP, Carbon ROM and others. So think of this of something like a Galaxy S4 Mini Google Play Edition. The ROM is very clean, it's super fast in performance and if you want to use it this video will show you how. So you need to start off by downloading the ROM zip file into your SD card as well as the GApps package. Once you have downloaded the two files, you need to power off your phone and you need to boot into recovery mode by holding the home button, the power and the volume up. Please do keep in mind you need to have a custom recovery in order to install this ROM. Anyways, once your phone has powered off, you need to hold the three buttons and you should be in recovery mode. In my case, I am running Coco Mode Recovery. So the first step here as usual is to choose wipe data factory reset, then select yes. This should take just a few seconds or up to a minute depending on how much data you have. Next you need to choose install zip, then choose it from storage SD card 1. In older CDOM recoveries this is labeled choose it from external SD card. Anyways select that and select the AOSP 4.4.4 zip file and choose yes to install it. Now this will also take a few seconds so be patient. So once it is done installing the ROM you need to once again choose choose it from SD card 1 and this time you need to choose the PAG apps modular micro 4.4.4 zip file. Select that and once again select yes and again be patient this will this process will end faster than the ROM installation and once the G apps installation is complete head back into the main menu and select reboot system now. In case you get this message here you can just choose yes or no it doesn't really matter. You just need to reboot your phone. And that's pretty much it. So here is a small issue. Uh, the Android KitKat logo is a bit large. You're gonna see in just a second. As you can see it is cut from the right and the left side. This is no big deal actually, but it may be fixed in the future builds, I hope. So I'm just gonna skip onto the home screen now. You are all familiar with the setup wizard instructions. So here we are with the AOSP build on the Galaxy S4 Mini. So before you begin using it, you get a choice. You can use either Google Now Launcher or the Launcher 3. So I'm just gonna select the Google Now Launcher. If you swipe to the left, you get to the Google Now screen and the OK Google command also works from the home screen. As you can see I just said OK Google and it immediately pops up. The default applications which you get installed after watching the GApps package are Gmail, Play Store, Google Play services, uh, Google settings and stuff such as that. As you can see it's pretty a light, it's a pretty light package. You only get one page of applications and there's even space for three more here to add. So it's pretty light. And of course, as for the performance, it is smooth as butter as you can see. Let me head into settings, about phone. This is the Android 4.4.4 version, the latest version of the KitKat series. And I'm pretty sure that the new ART runtime has already been made a bit more stable now. So if you head into developer options, you can find the option select runtime and you can choose use ART. You then need to reboot your phone and you should notice the difference in speed and performance. So let me just show you the booting time after using ART. So I'm going to power off my device and I'm going to boot it back and you're going to see how much fast it boots. And in addition to that, you may also notice some applications in games that will start up pretty fast than they used to in the Davik runtime. An example for this is Angry Birds. So let me just start it up. To me it seems pretty fast. It just takes a few seconds and I'm immediately on the menu as you can see. Also, please do keep in mind that not all applications and games currently support ART. So there are some applications which may not run. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, this is a clean build of Android 4.4.4. There are no additional customization features which you may find on ROMs such as Cyanogen Mod, AOKP, Carbon ROM and so on. Everything here is pure stock Android. And that is all everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so as there will be more helpful videos like this in the future. Also, I would highly recommend to check out this other channel that I have. I do app reviews. I comment on things, I show you uh, various tips and tricks on stuff, so yeah, you can check it out if you like. Once again, thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.
Goodbye.